fluids to hydrate with kidney disease. Have you ever wondered how hydration impacts kidney health? With chronic kidney disease, managing your fluid intake becomes crucial. Not all drinks are made equal. Some can harm your kidneys while others help. From understanding the role of hydration and kidney function to exploring kidney-friendly fluids, this video is going to unveil it all. So dive in and empower yourself with knowledge to safeguard your kidneys and enhance your overall well-being. Are you tired of struggling with your health? If you're someone living with chronic kidney disease, I've got great news for you. Hello, I'm Mathia Ford, a registered dietitian nutritionist specializing in chronic kidney disease and owner of renaldiethq.com. I specialize in helping people just like you improve their health by making simple yet delicious changes to your meals. Together, we can transform your eating habits, boost your overall well-being, and ensure that you're enjoying every bite along the way. Say goodbye to bland and boring meals and say hello to a healthier, more vibrant life. Let's get started on this incredible journey to better health together. Visit renaldiethq.com today and take the first step towards a healthier lifestyle. Understanding the importance of hydration, particularly in chronic kidney disease, is crucial for your health. Proper hydration plays a vital role in body function, including aiding the kidneys and filtering waste from your blood. Dehydration can have serious impacts on your body, such as increasing the risk of formation of kidney stones, and urinary tract infections. However, with advanced CKD or renal failure, you may be advised to lower your fluid intake as impaired kidneys can't get rid of excess fluids as easily. So it's essential to ensure you're maintaining adequate fluid balance with kidney safe fluids. The role of hydration in your body function. It's crucial to remember that staying hydrated plays a vital role in maintaining overall body function, particularly for the kidneys. This is why understanding hydration guidelines is essential. Here's some key points. The importance of water and body function should never be underestimated. It makes up about 60% of our body. The benefits of staying hydrated go beyond just quenching your thirst. Water is essential for many bodily functions. It aids in digestion, helps maintain body temperature, and keeps your skin healthy and regulates your blood pressure. Proper hydration is essential for optimal cognitive function as dehydration can impair attention and memory. When you're not taking in enough water, your body can experience a range of negative effects due to dehydration. One of the first signs is often feeling thirsty and passing dark colored urine. Other symptoms that might be caused by severe dehydration include headaches, dizziness, confusion, fatigue, heat injuries, kidney stones, urinary tract infections, and yes, even kidney failure. The benefits of proper hydration cannot be overstated. It's essential for keeping your organs functioning optimally and maintaining overall health. So remember to drink fluids regularly and heed thirst cues to prevent dehydration. Just exactly how does dehydration affect your kidney function? Dehydration puts a heavy strain on your kidneys by making their filtration job much more difficult. Remember the importance of hydration. It's not just about quenching thirst, but also maintaining kidney health. Dehydration could lead to severe complications such as kidney stones and urinary tract infections, and both of those can lead to kidney damage. Prevention is better than cure especially when it comes to kidney stones. Stay ahead by monitoring your fluid consumption diligently. This includes both beverages and foods rich in water content like fruits and veggies. Don't hesitate to seek a healthcare professional's guidance if you're unsure how much fluid you should be consuming daily. They can provide practical dietary advice tailored to your specific needs. Keeping your body well hydrated is crucial for maintaining optimal kidney function, Drinking fluids like water or herbal teas or eating hydrating foods such as fruits and vegetables can help ensure you're getting enough water throughout the day. Remember, it's not just what you drink, but also what you eat that contributes to your fluid intake. So make sure to include plenty of hydrating foods in your diet too. It's crucial to choose the right fluids when aiming for proper hydration, especially if you're dealing with kidney disease. Drinking water is a top priority, but there are other options and hydration tips that can help you maintain your fluid balance. Water is the natural choice for staying hydrated. It's calorie free and helps in maintaining most bodily functions. Herbal teas can offer warmth and variety while contributing to your water consumption. Some herbal teas may be unsuitable for kidney patients, so be sure to consult with your dietitian or your doctor beforehand. And fruit-infused water. Choosing low potassium fruits like strawberries and raspberries makes a great and delicious fruit-infused water. 
Remember, it's essential to follow fluid intake guidelines given by your healthcare team. This will ensure you're getting the importance of fluids acknowledged while managing your kidney disease effectively. Proper hydration supports overall health and optimal kidney function in early kidney disease. Eating hydrating foods, you'll find that munching on water-rich fruits and veggies can significantly contribute to your overall hydration. These nutrient-rich sources of hydration offer more than just quenching your thirst. They provide essential vitamins and minerals supporting both hydration and kidney health. Consider hydrating meals like a crisp cucumber salad or a refreshing watermelon slice, picture perfect for hot summer days. The benefits of eating water-rich foods extend beyond mere hydration promoting healthy digestion and aiding your kidneys and flushing toxins from the body. Don't forget soups too. They're an excellent way to incorporate hydrating foods into your diet while keeping it varied and delicious. Remember, being water wise isn't just about drinking fluids. It's about what you eat as well. Now let's talk about your soda and kidney health. Soda consumption can have an impact on kidney health, particularly when consumed in excessive amounts. Most sodas are high in sugar, which can contribute to weight gain and obesity, Obesity is a risk factor for kidney disease progression through oxidative stress and inflammation. Sodas often contain phosphorus additives, which can cause problems in people with kidney disease as their kidneys may be unable to regulate phosphorus levels, unlike healthy people. This imbalance can lead to bone disease and heart problems. Soda consumption has been linked to an increased risk of kidney stones. This is primarily due to the fructose syrup found in sodas that metabolizes into oxalate. Phosphoric acid found in sodas can create an acidic environment in your urinary tract, which is encouraging of kidney stone formation. Individuals with pre-existing kidney conditions or those at risk for kidney disease should be cautious and consult with the healthcare professional for personalized advice. The impact of coffee on your kidney health, whether you're a kidney patient yourself or aim to help others in their health journey, it's crucial to be aware of these hydration guidelines. Optimal intake of water isn't just about drinking more, it's about choosing what you imbibe wisely. As you navigate through your kidney health journey, it's crucial to understand how certain beverages can strain your kidneys. For instance, coffee, while not harmful in moderation, could raise potassium levels if consumed in excess, which might lead to difficulty breathing and heart problems. But don't worry, there are healthier alternatives that not only quench your thirst, but also support your renal well-being. So let's dive into exploring these options together. Choosing healthier alternatives to coffee can greatly improve your overall health without straining your body's natural processes. You may want to seek alternatives like infused water, smoothies, and low potassium fruit juices like cranberry juice that won't tax your kidneys as much. These beverages offer hydration benefits, providing essential nutrients while also being gentle on the kidneys. If you're undergoing dialysis treatment, consult your healthcare provider for specific hydration tips tailored to your needs and quantity. By making mindful choices, you'll not only support your own well-being, but also guide others towards water-wise habits that prevent kidney function decline. As you navigate the later stages of chronic kidney disease, it's crucial to understand the need for fluid restriction, especially in ESRD or end-stage renal disease. Limiting your water consumption can be challenging, but it's an essential part of caring for your kidneys and maintaining your overall health. By keeping a food diary and seeking professional guidance, you can effectively monitor your hydration levels while ensuring that all fluids consumed are kidney friendly. If you find yourself in the later stages of chronic kidney disease or an end-stage renal disease, you may find yourself in a new position. In many cases, end-stage kidney disease means that you have to limit the amount of fluids that you eat and drink. As kidney disease progresses, the kidney's ability to perform their functions becomes impaired. Damaged kidneys may struggle to effectively filter and excrete excess fluid from the body. As a result, fluid retention can occur, leading to swelling in the legs, hands, and face. This medical condition, known as edema, can cause discomfort and increase the risk of complications. Restricting your fluid intake can be a tough adjustment to make as it presents challenges such as limiting beverages at meals and avoiding water-rich foods like soup, And this can sometimes be even harder than drinking enough. To help manage these limitations, consider keeping a food diary for effective fluid intake monitoring, working with your healthcare provider to determine an appropriate daily fluid limit based on your specific needs, and limit or avoid foods with high water content such as soups, stews, juicy fruits, and watery vegetables. Remember, managing your fluid intake is crucial in treating your condition and managing overall health. It's far from easy, but remember you're doing it to serve your body in the best possible way. Now that we've discussed the need to balance your fluid intake, let's shift our focus to the signs of proper and improper hydration. Understanding your body's hydration levels is crucial when you're managing kidney disease. 
diabetes. Some of the key signs of dehydration include fatigue, dizziness, and dark colored urine. Alternately, clear or light colored urine indicates proper hydration. Don't forget to consult with your healthcare professional about what amount of fluid intake is best for you. Keeping track of your fluid intake is a crucial step in maintaining optimal hydration, especially if you're dealing with kidney concerns. You'll need to be mindful not only of the fluids you drink, but also of those presence in foods like fruits and soup. Recognizing the signs of proper hydration, such as clear or light yellow urine, symptoms of dehydration like dizziness, fatigue, or dark urine will help you adjust your habits for better kidney health. Now let's talk about tracking your fluid intake. So to accurately track your fluid intake, you'll find it helpful to maintain a daily food diary. Make sure to include beverages and even foods with high water content like soups and fruits. This tracking method will ensure you stay within the fluid intake guidelines when managing your kidney disease. The benefits of tracking are immense. They not only maintain optimal hydration levels, but it also aids in overall disease management. If you're unsure about how to accurately record your intake or decipher between different types of fluids, consult your healthcare professional. Remember, diligence and accuracy are key when monitoring hydration for kidney health. Keeping a food diary can be an effective way to monitor your hydration levels, especially when you're dealing with kidney disease. In this diary, it's important to not just track the fluids you drink, but also the extra water content in the foods you eat. Starting a food diary can be a powerful tool in tracking your fluid intake when living with kidney disease. It's all about setting goals, staying consistent, and measuring intake accurately. From jotting down every glass of water to noting that bowl of soup or juicy piece of fruit, each entry will help ensure you're maintaining proper hydration while also being mindful not to exceed your fluid allowance. Some tips include noting the size of your drinkware to measure intake effectively. A marked water bottle can be helpful. Be sure to also document any symptoms of dehydration like headaches or dizziness. Having this record can provide valuable feedback on how your body responds to different levels of hydration. Remember, consistency is key in maintaining optimal kidney health and managing chronic kidney disease. When managing kidney disease, it's essential to choose both beverages and foods that support your hydration needs without overtaxing your kidneys. Remember, not all hydrating options are created equal. Some drinks and foods are more suitable for maintaining optimal kidney health. Let's dig into the specifics of hydrating beverages and foods that can be beneficial for those with kidney disease, ensuring you stay hydrated in a way that best supports your overall health. So talk about hydrating beverages for kidney disease. It's crucial to choose kidney-friendly beverages for hydration when managing kidney disease. Herbal teas are a great option too, as long as they're low in potassium and phosphorus, making them safe for your kidneys. Coconut water can be a great hydrating option too, but remember to moderate the intake due to its high potassium content. Incorporating these hydration strategies into your daily routine can help maintain optimal kidney health. However, ensure any hydration strategy doesn't interact negatively with your medications. Consult with the healthcare professional if needed. And remember, a proper fluid plan is key in treating chronic kidney disease successfully. Now let's talk about some hydrating foods that are suitable for kidney disease. Choosing the right foods can also play a crucial part in managing your health, especially if you're dealing with renal issues. Consider hydrating fruits like watermelons, strawberries, and peaches, and vegetables like cucumbers and lettuce. Also consider incorporating kidney-friendly soups like lentil soup and chicken noodle soup into your diet. They'll provide needed hydration and essential nutrients without overworking your kidneys. However, always remember that even these foods count towards your daily fluid intake. Monitoring fluid intake is crucial to avoid the risk of dehydration or overhydration. It's best to keep a food diary for accurate tracking. Hydration is an important part of treating any chronic illness, especially CKD, whether you're trying to ensure that you drink enough fluids to help your kidneys function properly or monitoring your intake due to end-stage renal disease. Proper hydration is of the utmost importance. Remember that 60% of our bodies are water, so it's no wonder why proper hydration is crucial for kidney health. So fill up on fluids and kidney-friendly foods, ditch the soda, and keep track of your intake to ensure your kidneys run smoothly.